I've got a request. Andy Lee versus Chris Eubank Jr. How do I think the fight would go? First things first, in the interest in balance, I must say this isn't a fight that I view as likely to happen. Not whatsoever. The reason being, Andy Lee has far more lucrative options on the table. I think he's got to face Billy Joe Saunders. Should he prove successful in that matchup, there are far bigger fights for him out there. You know, Matthew Macklin is a lot easier fight than Chris Eubank Jr. And I reckon in Ireland that's a bigger fight. The Peter Quillen rematch is a massive fight in America. You know, maybe even we're talking a Golovkin rematch. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe Canelo up at 160. I think there are bigger options than Andy Lee, uh, for Andy Lee than Chris Eubank Jr. And I think Andy Lee loses to Billy Joe next time anyway, so I don't see the fight happening for that reason. But that's not what we're here to discuss. We're talking theoretical matchup. We're talking how I think it would go. In many ways, it's an intriguing battle. You've got two guys who can be soundly outboxed. You know, I've said this before. I've said it a million times. People are bored of hearing me say it by now. But Andy Lee didn't win a round against Peter Quillen in the first five or six. He didn't win a round against Matt Korobov or John Jackson until he was able to cause the stoppage in either of those fights. The guy can clearly be outboxed. I think the same can be said for Chris Eubank Jr. This is a guy who doesn't jab enough, who's very defensively open, who doesn't move enough. You know, realistically, these guys are both vulnerable to a very, very skilled technician. Who do I think would win? It's a tough fight. I'd actually, and I've been critical of him in the past, I'd actually lean to Chris Eubank Jr. in this fight for twofold. First and foremost, Size difference. Andy Lee, and again, I hate to keep rubbing on, in my opinion, he's more of a light middle than a middleweight. He's fighting at the middleweight by a sort of bizarre set of circumstances where he, I think the plan was for him to fight at 154, but he kind of fluked upon his title slot due to Quillen vacating unexpectedly. Kashubat Jr., I've been to one of his weigh ins. The guy is very, very big at the weight, very big at the weight. And I think size difference is a real relevant factor in this. I think Lee is more of a light middleweight. I think Eubank Jr. is more of a super middleweight. Now, I think Chris Eubank Jr. really does have a good chin. He's yet to be tested by a puncher like Andy Lee. But for me, given his size, given his strength and durability he's shown so far, it's hard to see Andy Lee just sparking him out in the way he did with Matt Korobov. So I think this one goes late. I think Eubank is the more natural athlete. I think there's less vulnerability to Eubank in terms of his chin. I mean, both of like, these guys are defensively open. It's going to be a war. Both guys are going to get hit. But for me, I think Andy Lee, whilst he's got heart and determination, he can be hurt a lot easier than uh, Chris Eubank Jr. I mean, Andy Lee got dropped multiple times by Peter Quillen recently. Uh, we saw Andy Lee getting stopped by um, Chavez Jr. earlier on in his career. And I think it could be a similar case this time round. You know, Quillen, Chavez Jr., both really, really big guys compared to Andy Lee. The same could be said for Chris Eubank Jr. You know, Chris Eubank Jr. has got punch resistance. For me, he's a slightly more dynamic, athletic, violently aggressive fighter than Andy Lee. And I could see Chris Eubank Jr. getting the job done by stoppage here. Um, it's an interesting fight. It's one that we don't expect to see. And I do think both guys are live. You know, I'm not saying it's an easy fight for Chris Eubank Jr. I do really think both guys are live. And Chris Eubank Jr. is defensively open and hasn't been in with a puncher like Lee. So there's always scope for Lee, once again, to land that game-changing punch. But I don't think Eubank Jr. would fade in the same way Quillen faded. I think Eubank Jr. comes on strong. You know, we saw that against Billy Joe. We've seen that on other occasions against Dmitry Chudinov, you know fighting even into the later rounds. Um, so I, I, I don't think Eubank Jr. would fade. I think he'd stay there for the entire fight. And on balance, I'd slightly lean to Eubank Jr. Let me know your thoughts. Keen to discuss.